Hello there, my name is Kirk and this is my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro Rig for 2022. I've used this rig for pretty much all throughout this year from music videos to client projects to passion projects of my own and I'm really excited to share it with you. There are tons of different ways that you can build out your 6K Pro Rig or any rig for any camera for that matter but I really wanted to showcase my rig today because as I've used it all throughout the year it is quite different from a lot of others. As you can see there's not too many accessories in terms of the actual length of the rig and and I do use a lot of first party Blackmagic accessories for it as well. So without wasting any more time, let's jump in and see what's on my 6K Pro rig. Starting off with my 6K Pro body, I have attached a couple of these Peak Design clips as well, in addition to having all the ports open on the side of the body to make sure I can easily grab and adjust stuff. I then attach my Blackmagic Pocket 6K Pro battery grip. I absolutely love this thing and attach it whenever I need a bit of extra power. I can add in two extra Sony NPF 570 batteries on the inside of the battery grip, giving me around about one hour per battery or around about just under an hour, which in total gives me around about three hours of juice. It tightens using the wheel on the front of the battery grip just here, as well as being able to keep two batteries in the grip and one battery in the camera in total. This is all put together with my tilter cage. Now this cage is the full cage for the Blackmagic 6K Pro, which covers the whole camera, but I've added this extension post, which came with the actual rig itself. And it enables me to have the battery grip also integrated into the actual setup that is the 6K Pro. And you can essentially run this in two ways with the extension post or without. The main difference is that when I have it in the full setup just here, the cage only covers the left-hand side of the 6K Pro and doesn't cover the other side, which is actually really great because it means the full actual handle of the 6K Pro is accessible and easy for me to put on. After that, I put on this dual 15 millimeter rod attachment from Tilter, which enables me to put the rod on the front hand side of the 6K Pro and enables me to add any type of 15 millimeter rod attachments without having to add a separate plate on the bottom of the 6K Pro. The main lens of choice that I've been using is the no need for introduction Sigma 18 to 35. I predominantly use it in manual focus mode with this tilter ring on the front of the actual lens and I think it's amazing just because the whole lens itself doesn't actually have too much focus breathing and although it is a still lens it works really really great with my 6k pro and I'm looking to buy some cinema lenses in the future but honestly it's fantastic so far. Next up, I use these two 15 millimeter rod attachments from Small Rig. They're really, really short and attach everything that I need. Sometimes I do use the second rod, but most of the time at the moment, I just use the single rod with the second one acting as a bit of support whenever I put the camera down. And these rods with the tilt attachment just slide in straight to the front of the camera, which works perfectly. On top of the camera, I use this small rig NATO rail attachment. It is the 10 centimeter version, and it is absolutely fantastic because it enables me to add a small rig top handle or anything else on top of the camera and attaches really securely just using the two screws there. Speaking of top handles, I do use this small rig NATO clamp style handle, which is fantastic. I love the adjustability of the handle as well as the fact that it clamps onto the top of the NATO rail on my camera, just like so. Another wonderful part about this actual handle too, is that it does have RE locating pins on the front of the handle, which I'll show you exactly what I use those for in just a moment. Now for my matte box, I use the Tilter Mini Matte Box. It's really, really great. I currently don't use any drop-in ND filters and I really like the size of this Tilter Mini Matte Box. It eliminates any type of lens flares whenever I am shooting outside and it enables me to also have a bit more structure for the look of the camera too. But because essentially I'm not using any external ND filters because the 6K Pro does have internal ND filters at two, four and six stops, it works great and really adds to the whole setup too. Just like the top handle, my side handle is from Small Rig, and I also use the NATO clamp handle version. This thing is absolutely awesome because the tilter cage itself does have a NATO rail built into the cage on the right hand side or the left hand side in this case. And because of that, I don't actually have to attach anything else. I can just put on the handle straight away. So whenever I need, I can really just take off the handle and the side handle within 10 seconds and have a much more slimmer rig whenever I need to go. So both these handles in unison work really well for quick adjustments. 
Now this here is the Tilter Mini Follow Focus. This thing I absolutely love because essentially it just grabs onto the side of my Blackmagic rig and I love to manual focus. I really wanted to go with the electronic versions of the Nucleus Follow Focuses. However, they are quite expensive, but also they are a little bit annoying when it comes to routing all these cables and everything. And I wanted to make sure that I could one, learn how to properly follow focus, two, keep the cost down, and three, minimize the amount of wires and power that I would need for this setup. So that's why just sliding on the Nucleus follow focus or this manual follow focus on the side just here is great because it clamps on just onto the side of my 15 millimeter rods from small rig and I can attach it on either side. Most of the time I do have it here on the right hand side but sometimes I do have it on the left and what this follow focus does it makes it really easy to swap which type of side I do want the follow focus on. Now, one of my favorite additions to this rig is this small rig monitor mounting solution, which it's really, really tiny and has RE locating pins on the front. All I need to do is grab the little device just here and put it just onto the front of the small rig top handle, which means I don't have to put any other additional stuff on top of the handle itself. And it makes it really, really easy to mount anything that I might want on there. I mainly do mount the monitor, but it keeps the whole thing really low profile. And I'll show you what that looks like just now. Although I've only just recently purchased this, I used the Feel World LUT7 Pro monitor, which is an amazing budget monitor if you want something really, really bright, plus the seven inch display. It goes just on the RE locating pins on the top handle there, as well as being powered by two of my Sony NPF570 batteries or the Blackmagic batteries for that matter. This is really great because it means every single battery within my rig are all the same. So I really just carry tons of these different batteries around and it makes it super easy for me to be able to swap batteries, whatever I might need. Sometimes the monitor only really uses one battery, other times I put two on there. But the fact that inside the battery grip, as well as inside the 6K Pro, all use the same batteries, mean that I can power the whole setup and charge all my batteries before production at home with these batteries essentially as well. So another great option for being able to put everything together. And as you can see here, I do mount the monitor just on that small rig monitor attachment and it allows for a bit of rotatability too, plus keeps the overall package of the entire camera quite small. Now connecting the monitor to the camera itself, I use this really awesome tiny small rig HDMI cable. It's mainly built for camera setups like this one. It's only 30 centimeters long and it is really, really short when it comes to the connectors too. I plug it into the open port section of the 6K Pro rig just here and wrap it under the side of the camera into the back of the monitor in the HDMI in section and it really keeps the whole cable situation low. In fact, it is the only external cable that I have running on the outside of the setup as I really like the look and clean kind of aesthetic of the whole thing. And of course with storage, in order to keep those cables on the outside as clean as possible, I use an Angelbird one terabyte CFast card. Now this is a very expensive card. Honestly, I probably would have gone with T7 or T5 SSDs, but I love doing this because all I need to do is slide in the CFast into the slot of the Blackmagic camera and I'll have a far less chance of having any issues with recording. For example, accidentally pulling out a cable or bumping the, the SSD on the outside. And it keeps the whole package super small and compact with as minimal wires on the outside as possible. But the only downside is, is that expense of course. The last thing that I do add to the rig is this Tiffin one quarter mist pro mist filter. I use this for pretty much 75% of the videos that I shoot, especially when it comes to my talking headshots for these YouTube videos. I love it so much just because it really does diffuse a lot of harsh light sources and make things really cinematic too. But overall, this is my Pocket 6K Pro setup. If you have any questions at all about the rig itself or any of the items at all, please let me know in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this rig build. Have a wonderful day, stay safe, and of course, do take care.